Thank you for tuning in in this episode of Channel Surfing. In this episode, I'm going to talk about what anodes that I use for channel surfing. Close your eyes, hear the voice within, call it this heavy. Hey, if you've not had a chance to uh, check out ChannelSurfingCreations.com, um, head over there. Uh, Lazina actually makes tumblers like this and she can custom engrave the name of your boat with a picture of the boat on there um, she's also doing you know t-shirts and sweatshirts and um, dish towels she does embroidery she does uh, heat press stuff she does mugs um, you know captain first you know, first mate kind of stuff um, all kinds of good swag for your boat could uh, get some good personalized gear for your boat again that's uh, channelsurfingcreations.com great way to help support the channel and stuff um, Lazina makes everything at home in our basement which is all, all the gear she doesn't outsource any of that stuff so again uh, we thank you for your support so channel surfing being an outboard um, you know, we've only got the two trim tab anodes and the transom uh, anode and then there's obviously there's a trim anode uh, actually on the engine so we'll take a quick look at those these are the trim tab anodes um, note they are not bonded to the boat however the engine transom anode is bonded to the boat And then the last one is, this is actually the uh, engine trim anode uh, that goes right there. Note, it doesn't have the fin anymore. Um, it, that anode actually will fit on the engine. However, Yamaha has deprecated the little fin that we used to adjust, you know, for port or starboard walk of the boat or whatever. But, uh, no, the uh, <coughs> new and improved anode is this one right here. That's what it looks like. When I bought the boat initially, she came with zinc anodes, and I have since changed them all to aluminum. And the reason was is that we were first moored in Port of Everett, uh, which is brackish water. And the first six months I had the boat, they actually uh, wore, they dissolved really just fine, but the boat was in the water the entire time. Once I started hauling the boat out of the water for a week here, a week there, do maintenance and stuff um, on it, uh, several times throughout the year, then I started noticing that they weren't they weren't eroding like I thought they should. They would get uh, crusty, and they would start to look like the surface of the moon, these big craters and stuff in them. So uh, what I'm coming to find out is aluminum, well, let me say zinc when exposed to air will create a protective film on top of it, and that will that'll have it stop working. Also, if zinc is uh, hit with fresh water then it'll also create get a protective coating on top of it and it'll stop working right so inside the yamaha i'll talk about the engine real quick so inside the yamaha engine obviously we see this anode right here on the engine trim but inside the engine there's actually eight crankcase anodes uh, and there's two thermostat anodes and then there's several others throughout the engine and uh, those are all inside, internal to the engine. Um, they're, uh, they're to be serviced every 500 hours on the motor. And Yamaha only sells them as aluminum. They don't give you a selection on the type of material. Why would that be? Well, if you think about it, um, inside the engine, right? Remember we said that if, if zinc is exposed to air, it'll create a protective coating and stop working, right? So here I am moored out of the water lower the engine down so we pull the boat out of the water to do maintenance we pull it out put it on a trailer and as soon as you do that all the water falls out of the engine which means the internal anodes are now exposed air then because we came out of salt water we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook up our hose to the flushing port and we're going to flush fresh water through the engine to rinse out all the salt water here and again, the internal anodes, if they got exposed to fresh water and they were zinc, they would uh, get a protective coating on them and they would stop working as well. Aluminum doesn't have those problems. Um, aluminum works as good as zinc does. And uh, if you expose it to air or fresh water, it works in both fresh water and salt water and doesn't have the problem where it'll uh, get that protective coating and stop working. So for these reasons, I went and changed out my trim tab zincs right there and the transom zinc right there 
well as the trim zinc, or I should say anode, I'm using the wrong terminology, the trim anodes, I changed all of them out to be all aluminum. Uh, I've got much better wear out of them. They actually dissolve like they're supposed to, right? Um, so I no longer have the uh, the pitting and you know the, the anodes coming off looking like the surface of the moon with these big craters and stuff where parts of the anode work and other parts of the anode don't work. So, and fortunately there is no anode on the bow thruster on the R27. And also, if you've not checked out our website, let's go channelsurfing.com. If you click under maintenance, you'll find a section on anodes with some additional information, um, you know, on the part numbers and stuff like that that we use. And again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the screen to watch another.